Hello, it is a silver patriot here. Again, um, I wanted to show you my full stack video. So, this is my full stack video from, you know, this is all my stack. Um, I don't have that much. I do not have that much. I'll try to keep this video not too long, but I don't have that much silver or gold compared to a lot of other people on YouTube. Um, but I, I feel like I have a pretty decent amount of size for a uh, kid in high school, you know? I'm I'm currently uh, 15, and I have all the silver, and I think it's pretty cool that I was able to obtain this much. I started stacking when I was in 7th grade, and I put, I uh, got a little bit of silver, a few eagles and stuff. And I'm currently in 10th grade, and I, uh, I'm kind of happy with my stack right now. I've been purchasing a lot recently since silver has gone down. I'll start here with the uh, first thing I ever bought, which is a 1882 Silver Morgan. Now this piece got me into silver, and the reason is because I, I bought it at Virginia City, which is where they minted a bunch of these and mined all the silver. And the reason why this got me into silver was because... Uh, because I then looked up, you know, when I bought it, I thought this would be a cool souvenir to take back home. Um, and I did, and I bought it for like $20. And it, I just researched it, and I looked up silver. This is another Morgan I have. It's a... 1899 Morgan dollar and these are cool because you know you get silver and you get you know history so you know if you haven't stacked anything before I recommend those I also recommend some other silver I'll go over uh, this is my panda collection um, I like the Chinese panda uh, I don't like the new changes with the 30 gram I think they're kind of trying to cheapen down on their coins personally but that's my personal opinion. So, my first panda I got was a 2013 panda. And I thought the 2013 panda looked really cool. It had three pandas. And this is still by far my favorite design. I then got a 2014 panda the next year. And then I recently got a 2012 panda. And I got a really good deal on that, by the way. And I got a 2015 panda graded MS-69. And I think I'm going to try to get them graded for now on. Um, these are real. I know they're real because I bought that from Panda America, which is like a big company um, that gets it directly from the Mint, and MCM, uh, Modern Coin Mart, which is another really big company. And I only really buy from big companies. I don't buy from, like, you know, individual people because there's a lot of fakes out there. But I think I want to get the slab ones because I think it will be easier to sell. And the future, but I'm not sure. I have a one ounce Rwanda coin. It's a Cape Buffalo. It's from the year 2015, and I got it very recently. There was a there's a video I made of this, and I'll put the annotation. Okay, so I also have a. I'm going to go here. I also have a kookaburra, a silver kookaburra, and a silver koala. I got this for Christmas on 20. On uh, 2015, I think. No, 2014. Last year. Last year. Last Christmas. So, uh, this Christmas I got a laptop. So, I should be able to produce, you know, better videos and edit my videos. And uh, hopefully they're better to you. But I have a silver koala and a silver kookaburra. I love these. I personally like the koalas better than kookaburras. But I think more people like the kookaburras. But I, I like koalas because they're fluffy and cute. Uh, here's a Somali Republic elephant and it is a the year 2016 and I got one because it's close to melt and I think these might go up they're really nice they're you know proof like and they're really nice really nice uh, I'll go over that later um I have here a 100 gram Scottsdale bar and that's pretty nice it's my only bar and I really like it uh I have here a semi numismatic I mean it's Still kind of bullion, but still kind of numismatic. Uh, this is a frosted silver piece. Uh, 2014. And it is a privy. 
Uh, it's a horse privy, in fact, and it, to me it looks really nice. Uh, one of my favorite privies because I think the horse, you know, I, I like how the horse looks with the maple. Um, here's some silver eagles. I have four silver eagles and one, you know, just regular 2015 silver maple with, you know, the radial lines and all the security features. Uh, here's the back if you don't know what it looks like. So these are what it looks like and here's what it looks like on the back. These two are 2011 and I got them brand new but they now have like these black marks on them. I don't know why. Kind of looks almost like ink or something like it. Uh, I don't know if it's like toning or something but if you guys know what it is please tell me down in uh, the or the comment section because I have no clue what it is. Uh, these two don't have it. And those two are 2011 and these two uh, that's a 1995 and a 1992. So kind of old. Over here, I have a 2 ounce private tier round. This is the Silver Siren, and it's very high detailed, very high detailed. And I also have another video on that. I have a Australian Wedge Tail Silver Eagle uh, by the Australian Mint, and that's a fantastic coin. I have about 8 ounces worth of junk silver. Roughly around 8 ounces. They're really, I, I, junk silver is nice to have for, you know, a collection because you can, you can throw it around and play with it because it already has scratches and it's really only valued for the silver content. I already looked for like key dates. I don't have any, but yeah, they're really cool. And I got most of this from junk, or uh, coin roll hunting. I got most of that from. And over here, these are one of my favorite pieces. And these are... Marks, 10 marks, uh, from, uh, they're silver, and they're from Germany. Um, and here's a two mark one that was jewelry, and it still has the jewelry on it. Um, why do I like these so much? Because I, when I went to Germany, I went to Germany, I live over here in the States, by the way. But when I went to Germany, I found this coin. Um... Uh, it's like this bear, and it's Olympic coin, 1982, and it's a 10 mark coin, and I brought it back when I bought it, and apparently it was silver. So the next time, so the second time I went to Germany, I knew that the 10 marks were silver, so I bought two more. And I got these from Germany when I went over there and traveled, and it's really cool. And it's kind of like a souvenir, and, you know, I don't think I will ever sell these. So, yeah. And the prize jewel of my collection, you know. This is a gold sovereign. It is Queen Victoria on the back, and it is 1894, which is crazy. I got that for a random. Not bad for a random. And uh, pretty nice condition. I bought a capsule for it. And this is 0.2354 ounces of gold. It is 22 carats, and it's amazing. Um, yeah, so that's, I really treasure this, because, you know, I saved a long time for that. And I'll put an annotation to the video, you know, with more details. And so, that's my stack. That's my full stack video. Um, again, I am only like a kid, so I can only buy so much. Um, and I don't like to put all my money in precious metals. Just in case, you know, I need cash and stuff, but I put, you know, I put a little bit in it. And, you know, just invest and see how it goes. And, uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, so I have about a little bit over 30 ounces in silver. And I have .2354 ounces of gold. So, I would say that's pretty good. Like a quarter ounce of gold almost and a little bit over 30 ounces of silver. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And you know, tell me, tell me uh, what was your favorite piece in in my stack. And uh, thanks for watching.